more about your establishment. What is it about? Well, uh, the Gallery d'Ontario, we started it about 10 years ago. John and I were living in London, and uh, we noticed a lot of different businesses in London that were fusion concepts, where you could have uh, a clothing store and a coffee shop or a restaurant. One, on one trip, we saw a restaurant that was uh, mixed with a car dealership. And so when we were coming back to Canada to establish back here, um, we thought maybe we could take our two business ideas and make them work together. Uh, I always had the dream of having a dental clinic that wasn't clinical, that people would come and feel a different sense of, of the dental experience to come and be more relaxed. Can you describe me the, the typical clients you have here? What are they looking for when they come to your place? I think they're looking for a different experience in terms of uh, going to the dental office and also they're looking for the new exposition that are coming up every four to five weeks. So it's really pleasant for them to come and see that there's art on the walls and it's also pleasant to go to a dental office where it doesn't feel so dentally, like it's not s as stressful for them. One, one concept kind of uh, enhances the other. Some people have never been exposed to art in this kind of way. It helped me to build my practice because in the beginning when you're starting with one patient, you're not very busy and when we had expos, it would bring people in here and they'd say, wow, this is pretty cool and there's a dental clinic back there, so. So the first few vernissage, what we did to promote the dental office, we were walking around with to toothbrush and toothpaste in a tray just to promote the dental office. Mm -hmm. So I've heard that all the paintings that are here will be exposed to uh, the Musée d'Art Contemporain will be sold for a great cause. That's a project that we've been working on for the last four years. So it's a benefit that we do for ACCM, uh, AIDS Montreal. So all the paintings in here are donation and 100% of the uh, profit goes to AIDS Montreal. So it's a great, great organization that we started four years ago. This year we're so lucky because we have the uh, auction at the Musée d'Art Contemporain at the Mac. So that really helps us to put us on the map as a, uh, an event, a profitable event. Uh, the artists have been so generous, everybody's been so great about this. Uh, and as we are in a community, well, we want to give back to the community. Exactly. What can we expect next for Galerie d'Ontar and Galerie D? Well, we have a bit of a surprise maybe coming our yeah. ways. We're thinking about expanding because... We're kind of maybe going to touch into some kind of different arts. We really want to try to continue to promote arts in the community. And one, another idea that we had to help another organization was to do a kind of a talent, uh, kind of promoting the arts of literature, drama, singing and stuff, trying to promote through a different form of uh, art, arts. So basically, the, the auction will be held on April 7th at Musée d'Art Contemporain Montréal. And uh, we can have more information on the website also. So I wish you the best of success and thank you very much for your time. Thanks so thank much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>